thank goodness. I couldn't take care of you forever. Hmm. Well, what is your name? It is rude to not introduce yourself, especially to the one who just saved you. Hmm, I see. Well, my name is not of importance. No, not actually not of importance. Goodness. You are not that clever, aren't you? Is that why you needed saving? <laughs> I joke around with you. Four-legged creature. Hmm? Oh, if you haven't realized, I am not of your kind. I am what you call a mermaid. Or a siren. <laughs> I understand why you are so confused. In fact, for me, it is very rare to find a human, especially underwater. Last time I checked, you can't breathe underwater, can you? How unfortunate. Well, that's all right. Hmm? Oh, you don't need to pay me back. I don't need anything from you. But, if you don't mind, just stay with me a bit. I do want to ask some questions about yourself. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. Now, I want to know, how does it feel to walk on land? Interesting. You see, I always wanted to walk on land, but this giant tail of mine won't do such things. <laughs> a sea witch? What is this? The little mermaid? Well, I am a mermaid, but we don't have sea witches. That is a fabricated lie created by an industry. You don't know too much about us, do you? Well, let's keep it that way. I feel like that's for the better. A mystery. Oh. Don't you enjoy a good mystery? <laughs> Anyways, back to the questions. What is that smell? Hold on, come here. Oh, almighty, it's you. Well, you were minutes away from drowning earlier, so I wouldn't expect you to smell the best. I advise you to go back home and clean yourself with whatever you have. Oh. This is why being in the ocean is way more superior. Because you don't smell these things. Hmm? What does the ocean smell like? Oh, it's a wonderful smell. It is a salty and fishy smell. Beautiful. <sighs> what? Why are you looking at me with such disgusted eyes? It's a beautiful smell. Wonderful, even. Someone with no taste like yourself wouldn't understand. No matter. By the way, I wanted to ask. I saw this picture of someone in your pocket. I was taking a look at it. Who is this person? Ooh, it's the person you love? Do they know you have feelings for them? What? You are kidding with me, right? They don't know? You seriously are a foolish human. How could you not tell them you have such romantic feelings about them? How would they feel if you just had some random photo in their pocket? They would want an explanation. So you should tell them! <sighs> you seriously want advice from a mermaid. Do you know what we do? 
Guess what? We lay eggs, right? Then we ask a merman to fertilize said egg. That's how we confess our love to each other. I don't know. I don't think this method would really work with humans, especially since your process doesn't work like that. <sighs> Listen, as a woman, I know how we feel. I know what we think. Well, not really. Because what I find attractive is the scales. Oh, the prettier the scales, the more attractive they are. But for human women, it is much more different from what I've seen or witnessed. There have been many women who travel along this beach and they talk about the men they like. Must say it's very interesting. They find the face to be the most attractive. Based on my personal preference, I think you're pretty attractive. But I remember hearing this conversation from this one girl. She said, it's not the looks that capture her. It is the personality. So, if you have a good personality, you're good as gold. So let me ask you this, do you have a good personality? If so, you have nothing to worry about. If not, hmm, can I help you there? Sorry. Listen, listen, I am a mermaid, not your therapist, not your counselor, and definitely not your friend. Yes, I maybe rescued you, but that does not mean we are friends. I would consider us... Hmm, what do you call it? Pen pals? I don't know what those are, but I keep hearing about them, therefore, we are now pen pals. Oh, that's what a pen pal is? Well, I don't think you can really send messages into the ocean. But here, take this. What does it look like? It's a shell. It's... yes, it's just a shell. But if you blow into it, it's kind of like a, hi, I'm here, let's have a conversation kind of thing. So if you ever want to see me again, then just use this. Simple. Honestly. <sighs> anyway, about this person you like. Just know that you cannot force anything onto someone. Because if you try to rush love, love will never come. Trust me. That happened to me with many mermen. Some of them were begging at my doorstep to be my partner. It was so disgusting and disturbing. I didn't know what to do. I had to order some swordfish to guard my house. It was getting that bad. Oh, me? Right now I'm single. Because the man that I was with is dead. Yeah, he's not alive anymore. Oh no, I'm fine, don't worry. He was in love with the shark girl and I can just... I think you can understand where this is going. <laughs> what do you humans call it? Karma, yes. Karma hit him. That's what happened. Oh, would you look at that? The sun is going down. That's my notion to head on home. Uh, you see, my parents are very strict on when I come back home. When the ocean gets extremely dark, it gets extremely dangerous. And I kinda don't want to die, so... You know. If I don't want to end up like my ex-boyfriend, I should be heading home soon. But remember, use that shell anytime you need to talk. Alright, little pen pal. I'll see you in the upcoming weeks. Oh, reminder, make sure to tell the one you like, you like them. Just letting you know. Okay? Alright, I'm gonna go swim away now. I'll see you later.